I think that one of the big factors about what the airport would bring to the area is helping companies to start up, helping companies to relocate here and helping companies to grow here. A huge amount of growth in the area, you know, I'm here for a reason, but I do believe that the airport would really help us to scale that and encourage businesses to be based here, be able to recruit talent, be able to retain talent, be able to bring clients here, you know, all of that side of stuff that really would help the economy to grow even further, the airport would play a big part in. So early stage companies, entrepreneurs with exciting projects, Typically they're having to go to London to go and raise those, those early stage equity funds. They're just not getting the investment simply because the investors find the travel time from London to get down to their investee companies where they'll want to keep regular contact too long. Well, the reopening of Plymouth Airport will certainly help uh, our business tremendously. As a uh, leading brand communications agency, we do an awful lot of work in London. and Some of that has some international elements to it getting to London far quicker than we currently do and far more reliably than we currently do will give us a, a significant advantage and, and enable us to do more deals, certainly in London. The impact of having an airport largely takes away that resistance to inbound funding. It puts Plymouth on the same um, travel times from London as Bristol. Opening an airport in Plymouth will significantly open the amount of investment, inbound investment that will come to Plymouth. I really believe that having an airport would increase in investment. I think that there is a perception of isolation in, in Plymouth and I work actually with quite a lot of investors and getting people to come down here and see the benefit of the area um, is quite difficult. I think that if the area was perceived as more connected that would encourage more people to see the other benefits that the city already has. So 500 people earning an average of 40, 50,000 a year spending 70, 80 percent of that in Plymouth is quite a big number and if you multiply that across 50, 100 other companies such as us with similar aspirations, you know the economic impact just from creation of jobs could be absolutely transformational for this city and that's what we need. Global connectivity is crucial. You know, I work in the games industry. It's by its very nature a global industry and therefore we have to compete on a global scale. I have to go to trade shows around the world. I have clients around the world. So I spend a lot of time in America, Europe and elsewhere. I'm off to San Francisco on Friday. I'm going to Bangalore next month. I spend a lot of time in Paris, um, in the Nordic regions. So, you know, being able to get to those places more efficiently is, is and would be of huge benefit to me. Obviously from our point of view we're looking at international travellers, not just kind of UK inbound travellers. You know, any travellers who can come to the city, coming by, by plane would be a great thing for us. They can fly into London, they can come down. Um, and we're always looking at the opportunity to showcase our building and the city to international travellers. I think the reopening of the airport would really help our business in that we do 40% of our business in Europe and some in the USA and all around the UK. So it would really enable us to kind of travel and get to those places a lot easier and also for clients to visit us. I think the airport will improve and complement existing links because it will give people choice, it will give travellers choice. You know, It might not be that they'll use a plane all the time, might use the train sometimes and the plane, but they'll have the choice, they'll have the opportunity to look at the best prices, to look at the best opportunity. I think it, it will give travellers the opportunity to look at the, the destination as a whole and say, well, I've got choice to travel. Well, certainly the one that comes straight to mind is Mayflower 2020, which will be a massive global event. I mean, the opportunity for enough to be on the global market is really big for us. Pretty much everything that, that the city is working towards now is Mayflower 2020 and showcasing the city to America beyond but also the main thing for the city is it's a legacy so it's not just about 2020 it's beyond that and having a real desire for people to visit beyond 2020. Plymouth is the 15th largest city in the United Kingdom but we're also one of the United Kingdom's more peripheral cities and we have weak transport links. The airport has been identified in the Plymouth City Plan as key strategic transport infrastructure and it has an important role to play over the coming decades. It's vital that it's open and operating and adding value to the city. Fly Plymouth has been created to do exactly that and we're now looking for the opportunity to step into that role and get Plymouth connected.